Okay, YouTube, I am running out of ideas for a video still. So I need you to give me something new to do. Um, I guess some people have asked about what I did for voice, so I think that I'll go over that real quick for this video, but um, moving forward, I do need some more suggestions, so please give me something to talk about, otherwise I will just go back to watching movies and playing video games because I won't have any videos to make because I, I don't know what to talk about. But to show you uh, some things that I went over with my speech therapist, I'm not going to leave those papers there because they reflect slight on me, um, <laughs> but the first was articulation differences between men and women. And so you can see right here, maybe pause or do a screenshot. There we go, nice and centered. Um, just all sorts of differences. And so some of them are says like, women have a slow speaking rate. And I wasn't really aware of that. Like if you watch, maybe it's younger girls who talk really, 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 really fast. Or, um... Maybe it's because I grew up in North Carolina where everybody talks really slow. Um, but yeah, like those are things I noticed. Um, pitch variance is something I guess maybe you do notice. Uh, gliding up at the end of a sentence. So, um, finishing almost like a question rather than a statement. But at the same time, having gone to business school, like our kind of public communication, a public speaking person would actually try to get girls to not do that because if you talk like a cheerleader, you talk like a valley girl, um, in the business world, obviously that might not necessarily uh, be the best thing. It might, it might not work out too well for you. And so then the, really the first exercise she gave me was straw exercises. So actually taking a coffee straw and um, blowing through it to find middle C or C3, um, which is 131 hertz. And so if you don't play a musical instrument or you don't have some kind of tuning device, um, I was able to download an app for my iPhone called, I think, Tuner and Beat, something like that, where I could actually see what the yeah, tuner and beat, and kind of record my voice, play it back, and then look at what the iPhone is giving me in terms of the result. And so doing that with some of these straw exercises where it's sustained some of these different notes, um, do some glide. So glide is basically starting at a... Going from sort of the lower note to the higher note. Um, but keeping in mind that for me, my goal was to really get to more of an androgynous place because I started at G2, um, which is 100 hertz. And to get to more androgyny, it was getting to 131 hertz for C3 because that's really the low end of, I guess, the ambiguous range, as my therapist called it, between 131 and 175. So between C3 in F3, if you have a piano or musical instrument, if you're that kind of inclined. And then obviously anything about F3 starts to get into the female range. Um, and then she gave me some phrases, and so that's actually a useful exercise that I still use to... Lily, no, don't go anywhere. She's going to pee on the floor. Shit. Um, I use that to actually calibrate, so maybe on a Monday, maybe on a Tuesday, maybe on a Wednesday... Maybe on a Thursday. Um, and so if I've had a long night, um, long day, like too much coffee, too much soda, that's something that's really useful to kind of help me get back to where I need to be. That plus the glides. Mm -hmm. Like so sometimes before a phone interview or something like that, I will actually sit there and do a couple of glides to try to recalibrate. Um, and I'll be right back because I need to make sure she doesn't be on the carpet. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> she was good. 
She didn't go pee anywhere. No, she wasn't supposed to. Um, so yeah, so those were the first two um, things we went over. And I think that was the first lesson, because I'm pretty sure we only did two, maybe. Um, the... Where are you going, dog? Come back here. Second set of things was really um, make some sounds. So again, going from the default pitch of G2 up to E3. So the idea was here to go beyond um, C3 and get me a little bit higher um, well into that androgynous zone. And so I actually haven't measured um, my results recently, so I'm not even sure where I am. I'll probably end up doing that to this video, but it was to make sounds like as you can see right up there at the top of the list, and then try going from the hum into a single word starting with M. So money, mother, milk, and it's kind of really weird, so I hated doing the exercises where anybody was around, <laughs> um, which was everywhere while I was in business school, so, yeah, and so then, um, the final thing was reading some sentences, um, concentrating on the feeling of an open throat throughout, and, um, through every vowel sound, I'm sorry, um, Ron dashed to the ring um, and wrapped the sash around her waist and really just trying to, at this point, um, put a full sentence together. So I don't think it probably really matters too much uh, what sentence you use. Um, just really, honestly, the biggest thing is practice. Um, and so for me, that was making these videos, watching them and saying, oh my god, no, that, that segment won't work because my voice sounds awful, um, to actually interviewing, just interacting on a daily basis and forcing myself to use this voice um, and to kind of continually get it better because I guess what eventually happens is my default changed from G2 to maybe... Uh, that's sad that I don't even know what comes next. Um, A3, B3, like it goes to C3, then it's where it is now. Um, and it kind of fluctuates a little bit, like it breaks, it warbles or wobbles, whatever. But overall, it's way better than it was before. Um, on the phone now, I don't worry about being misgendered by somebody who knows they're talking to me. Um, whereas in the past, people, regardless of what name they saw on my resume, even my new name, um, they would assume that it was a boy or the girl's name. Now they don't do that anymore. So it has improved. Um, if I talk to a stranger on the phone, it's maybe 50-50 kind of how that's going to go. But overall, it's way better. And so, you know, identify kind of, I guess, in summary... Um, identify what your base is, um, set a goal initially if you're pretty deep in that 130 to 170 like androgynous range, get there, and then work on going from there to a more feminine, I think. And there are lots of tutorials on YouTube that are probably way better than what you just saw here, um, where people can talk a little bit more about some of the things that I didn't understand, like, um, if you swallow, like try to put your voice box back um, at the highest point where it is when you swallow and then speak that way. Um, there's all sorts of different kinds of tricks or exercises and for me none of that worked because um, I didn't actually know about the swallowing one until later but some of the other ones like I just didn't understand what was being asked or being told. And regardless, like, I didn't practice that much anyway. So, like, that's, that's it. Um, leave me ideas for another video, um, please, so I don't have to make kind of a boring tutorial one like this again. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to go make sure that 
she's actually behaving. 